one of the distinct features of this operation has been that Israel has targeted a number of high-rise buildings in Gaza. The Israeli military is using tanks and artillery fire, unmanned drones, and other sophisticated weapons. The Palestinian militants are firing mainly unguided rockets into Israel. So there's been a, quite a wide path of destruction on the civilian infrastructure and, and civilian homes in Gaza. two specific towers that housed a number of media organizations, including one that housed both the Associated Press and Al Jazeera. The Israelis gave warning uh, to the owner of the building to evacuate the building, and journalists from the AP and these other organizations had to flee for their lives before it was demolished. The Israelis have said that there were Hamas military intelligence using some offices in this building, both the AP and other organizations have said that they had no evidence that that was the case. Gaza is a territorially the size of Washington, D.C., but with a population about three times the size of D.C. And so you can imagine the difficulty of trying to separate civilians from anything you might be trying to bomb in Gaza. The Israeli military says that what it's been targeting is a system of tunnels used by Palestinian militants that is underneath the neighborhoods of the Gaza Strip, as well as rocket construction facilities and militant leaders that it says are responsible for these rocket attacks from Gaza into Israel. What we've found in our reporting is that a lot of civilians have died in these attacks. Israel said that they were targeting a tunnel and that the collapse of the building was an accidental result of that attack. It's a situation where there are many people, the vast majority of them civilians, who are scared for their lives and they have nowhere to run because they live in a territory that's been cut off from the outside world and it's a very dense urban center. They are reaching further into Israeli territory, attacking Tel Aviv and Jerusalem. Israelis will tell you that they are constantly hearing sirens that force them to run to their bomb shelters. Palestinian militants, they are using deadly weapons. There's no doubt about that. But they are at a disadvantage when it comes to fighting Israel, which is simply a much more powerful military. Israel has a missile defense system called the Iron Dome, which has intercepted, they say, about 90% of rockets that have reached Israeli territory. 